Hi guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. So today we are continuing the makeup collection series and today I'm going to do my most requested makeup collection video which is my eyeshadow palette collection and so I thought let me just do this video uh, rather than keep you guys waiting. Today I was actually planning to do my face palette video. So I will have a separate video on all my face palette collections. So today is going to be all the eyeshadows. We are in a different setup today because I just wanted to show you for one second the way I uh, store my eyeshadow palettes. So this is like the cabinet uh, where I have all my things. I think you have uh, probably seen it. I usually sit in front of this cabinet and on the top drawer I have all my eyeshadow palettes. And if you can see all my eyeshadow palettes are in their covers. So I never throw away eyeshadow palette covers. I always uh, store them in uh, that and then I stack them like I store them in a filing pattern. I feel like if you keep them in the covers A they keep, stay nice and clean and also they are easier to stack like this. So that's why basically I wanted to show you this, uh, show you how I store. So anyways let's just, uh, let's just dive into this makeup collection drawer of my eyeshadows. So I really hope you'll enjoy this video. Now where do I start? I have quite a few as you can see I have quite a few eyeshadow palettes I love eyeshadows and yeah I'm not embarrassed to say that I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes because I really love eyeshadows like this is one of my favorite categories I probably don't wear so much of eyeshadows on a daily to day basis but still I like to buy these kind of palettes so anyways I think I will start off with the two eyeshadow palettes which were my first buys so this one, this particular one is from the Sleek Makeup and this was my first eyeshadow which I bought. So this is how it looks. This is oh so special and I love this palette. This is superb. Uh, for the price, this is an amazing quality eyeshadow palette. Okay, the next one is the next Sleek palette which I have. I really love Sleek palettes. It's called Vintage Romance and this is how it is. This is also very very pretty. I love this one also. Then uh, the next one which I bought was this one. This one is a Tartlet in Bloom palette. Uh, I really love this palette. This is one of my first buys. I I heard so many good things about this one. I got this from uh, Sydney actually. This was sold out in Singapore so I got this from Sydney. If you want to splurge in one high-end basic palette, I would say go for this one. This is such a useful palette. This is like you have shimmers and you have mattes. Like I think you have everything. This is such a travel friendly palette as well. So this is a highly uh, recommended palette. If you want to invest in one high end palette, this, this should be the one. The shadow quality is amazing. Okay, so the next thing which I got is this one. This is also from Sydney. I had actually gone to buy a... Uh, like not I did not go to Sydney to buy this I had gone for a holiday and I had actually gone to the Sephora to get this shade and light palette because that time Kat Von D was not really available in Singapore so I want to get this one specifically because I wanted an all matte eyeshadow palette and that time I was just new to makeup I was just learning so this was like a very good buy for everyday use and that time I saw Tarted in Bloom so I picked that one as well this is also a very good palette like if you don't like shimmers and you want only a matte palette this is very good the shadow quality is just amazing. The next palette which I got is this one the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. I really love this palette so this is how it looks it's the semi sweet version and I love this palette this is also really really good there are a lot of warm browns and this highlight shade is also really nice. Uh, I have this reviewed on my blog. Uh, I have compared this to the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. You can go ahead and check it out. I have swatches there as well. So, I really love this palette. Okay, now I think I'll just move on uh, quickly and not tell you stories on which palette I bought next because honestly I don't remember. So, let me just finish the Too Faced ones which I have. So, I also have the Too Faced uh, Chocolate Bar Palette. And this one is not very old. This is how it looks. Uh, if you ask me, I do prefer and use the semi sweet one more. I don't know why, maybe because I have bought it earlier. But this is also very, very good quality. Uh, it is hyped up for a reason. The shimmers are amazing. The semi sweet one, the shimmers are a little like muted ones. 
so those shimmers you can actually wear on a day-to-day -day basis but these are like very very intense shimmers most of the shadows are really really good quality then the next uh, Too Faced eyeshadow palette which I have is this one the Too Faced uh, Sweet Peach palette I do not like the scent of this palette it's just too peachy and too sweet and I don't like the scent of this palette so that is another reason that I am not immediately drawn towards the palette towards this palette but this is very very pretty and it looks really nice you can see these are the shades in here. I have already reviewed this on my channel with swatches and I believe a makeup tutorial as well. I don't remember. But this is like, this is also good quality. Not at par with the other two I feel. But this is also good. Uh, there are a few shadows here and there which are, which could have been better. But it's a very pretty palette. Okay, so the next products uh, or the next eyeshadow palettes which I want to show are these ones. These are the Zoeva palettes. I can't, oh, you can't see. So these are Zoeva palettes. I love these palettes. And Zoeva uh, makes amazing makeup brushes, but they have amazing eyeshadow palettes. You should definitely check them out. They have very, very good quality, very comparable to high-end brands, but they are not so expensive as the high-end ones. So I have a, a lot of them. Actually, I have six. I was uh, kind of addicted to them. So I have uh, Rolio Bell and Caramel Melange. This is a newer buy. Naturally Yours, Coco Blend, Love is a Story and Rose Golden. So let me just quickly show you the palettes one by one. This is the Rose Golden palette. This is so so nice. I love this palette. I am going to do a makeup tutorial on this palette very soon. Like an Indian uh, party guest makeup tutorial or something. A Rose Golden one. So this is really really pretty. It has very nice shimmers, rose golden -y shades. I will do swatches of this, all of this palette on my blog. So check out that I'm not doing swatches today. This video is going to get too long otherwise. Then this is the Love is a Story palette. And uh, many of you had asked me to do an eye, eye look on this. Because I posted this picture of this uh, recently on my Instagram. So I will do that soon. I will create an eye look with this. I feel like I don't do a lot of makeup tutorials. Uh, I play around a lot but I actually don't do a lot of makeup tutorials because uh, they they are uh, they do take quite an effort to film and plan and edit makeup tutorials and sometimes I feel I don't have the uh, time to do uh, makeup tutorials but soon I'm going to do much more makeup tutorials so this one is the Zoeva Coco Blend palette and this is another palette which I would say that if you want to get a very nice uh, like a neutral sort of a palette for parties or for everyday use also this has very nice colors this is very very good quality I mean it has shimmers it has this matte browns this brown I mean it has everything you would ever need for a neutral eye look and you have these nice shimmers also for which you can have uh, you can go an extra mile an extra bit to create a stunning eye look so this is also very good highly highly recommend uh, if you guys don't know i am give i am running a giveaway on my channel i am giving away one of this coco blend uh, palettes so do, do check out my giveaway it's still open this is the zoeva naturally yours palette and this is also a very good palette for everyday use it has this neutral kind of shadows it has a few mattes one two three four five these are all mattes and these five are shimmers very very good quality then this is the caramel melange nothing more to say i already have a video on this and the cocoa blend together and so this is how it looks very very pretty you can see that i all i always have the sleeves yeah i don't throw away with anything when eyeshadow palettes are concerned they are always like this and this is how it looks this is also very very pretty just a summery nice eyeshadow palette this is so good this shimmers here this three one two three these are out of this world. I mean, we just go and look at that video once. You will know. Those shimmers are just outstanding. And then I have the last Zoeva palette, which is the Rodeo Bell palette. This is also very good. It has a very interesting greenish and bluish shimmers, which I have not really seen in other palettes. Uh, really, really pretty blue. This matte blue is also very nice pigmented. Then there's a nice red here, like a maroonish red. So, so pretty. So, yeah, I want to do eye looks 
with this actually i have already done but i don't i don't think i have posted them anywhere i used to play around uh, on my own uh, next i will just finish off my tart palettes which i have so i have already shown you the tart let in bloom this is another tart palette which i have uh, this one actually i got for my mom i think i have already gifted her but i love this palette so much when i gifted her i got one for myself as well and this is so pretty look at the shades i love this kind of shades like for everyday use this is perfect you can easily wear this kind of shades on everyday you basis and these are like uh, this is like a nice peachy blush i love this blush and this highlight is also very nice very very pigmented there are two matte uh, one two three four five six mattes so these are all mattes and these are two shimmers uh i really love this palette this is really good quality the next tart palette which i have is it's actually not a palette oh yeah I, let me show you this one so this is something which i have this is not uh what i keep here this is there for display so this is one party uh palette i don't know that comes out with holiday collection so this was their 2015 or 2016 holiday collection and my sister got it for me because she got it for really cheap uh last year and this has all of these uh like this is a pouch kind of a thing and it has all of this eye shadows these are all eye shadows really pretty some of them are very very good quality so she had got this and there is a mas mascara here and a brush and here goes this palette so i have taken out this palette and kept it here so in this palette you get this is like a travel palette which you can carry with yourself Uh, and in this palette you get this uh, bronzer and a blush and a highlight and this shades here like six shades very very good i have used this many times like for natural looks i just grab this palette and i just use everything from this palette and then i have this one the tartist pro palette so this is how it looks i have already reviewed this on my channel long time back so this is the inside it's very very pretty the shadows are really pretty i have this reviewed on my blog as well uh, i have kind of changed my mind about this palette this palette is not as bad as i was thinking it is it's pretty good the shadows are quite pigmented that i have said earlier as well shadows are quite pigmented the only thing i my concern was that they feel very chalky so there is a little bit of fallout but it's manageable it's not a big problem and because of their chalky texture i guess they blend really well you can create a lot of looks you have like everything all kind of shades here so this is also actually uh, if you want to get you can get this is pretty good it's not the best tart palette it's pretty good okay this video is going to get really long okay one more amazing palette which i have is this one the anastasia beverly hills modern renaissance palette This is probably one of the best ones I have. It's amazing. This is amazing. I I I was I was so happy after I got this because I went on a hunt literally. Uh I ordered it a few times. My order got cancelled from various resellers and finally I got it from cultbeauty.co.uk and my order came in around 7 days. I was so happy. This is such an amazing product. I have full review and swatches. I have a video on this. I have swatches on of this on my blog as well. You can go ahead and check it out if you want to see the swatches on my skin tone. The next ones which I have, okay, let's just finish this one. This is the balm. I have already reviewed this on my channel. This is also a very cute little palette. I love the whole concept behind this palette. Uh it says eat your heart out then you can take this one, uh pull this one out and you have these shades. These are mattes. shimmer or metallics and these are kind of satiny mattes uh very very good quality really really good the only thing is that i don't know how, how many eye looks will i be able to create with this i don't know if it's totally totally worth the money if you don't have shadows like this then probably you should get it because uh, i did not have shadows like this like grayish shadows a lot so i got this but it's a pretty decent palette i liked the concept and i like the quality It's pretty good. Okay, the next shadow, uh, next eye shadow palette is this one. Oh, wow, sorry. That is why I do not like to keep without covers because that happens. Anyways, so the next palette is this one. It's just so huge. It always kind of tries to go fall from my hand. This is the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. This is so huge. It's almost like the size of my drawer. It just fits in, thankfully. So this is how it looks. 
it's very very cool packaging if you see from here it's called metal and if you turn it around it's matte so it's a really brilliant artwork from Kat Von D so it's on uh, it's how you see it it spells metal matte really cool and we have all the shadows names behind this is an amazing palette I mean I don't have to buy another colored eyeshadow palette for a really long time it has every single color you would ever need and the mattes are amazing the shimmers or the metallic ones are out of this world like her metal crush eyeshadows are so so good quality those are the same formula here the next one is this one which fell so let me just finish this off this one is the only morphe palette i have like the normal one i have the kathleen lights one that i will show you later this one is the morphe it's called 35p which is the plum version this is how it looks i actually haven't really used this a lot people rave about morphe so much so i got this palette to try it out and test it out uh, what's the big deal is uh, i think the shimmer qualities are really nice some of the mattes are nice some of the mattes are not so nice so i don't know i'm still uh, trying this palette out but i really like the shade range which is there in this palette so that is the 35p and the other morphe palette which i have is the kathleen lights palette this is also really really good this in this one is more consistent uh, palette i feel uh, all the shadows are really really consistent very very good pigmentation quality very good not like the bigger morphe palette where i felt that some of the mattes are okay some of the mattes are nice and so that kind of inconsistency is not there in this palette kathleen lights uh, she has put her name on this so it better be good so this is really good the only thing is that this black is somehow not very very pigmented uh i don't know it could have been a little, little bit better but other than that it's a very very good palette okay next i have to juvia's place palettes so this one is the nubian 2 so this one is the nubian 2 and i got this recently i haven't done an eye look with this on my channel yet so i will do that soon this is how it looks and i will review this on my blog really soon with swatches and everything this is just amazing quality this shadow quality is just amazing both the juvia's place uh, shadows which i have this one is the nubian 2 the other one is the saharan that one also has amazing quality so this one is the saharan one and this is how it looks the saharan one i have already reviewed on my channel and i also have a makeup look with that so go ahead and check it out but this is the saharan palette and i have reviewed this on my blog so if you want swatches you can go ahead on my blog and check out the swatches so those were all the high-end palettes which i have next we are going into the more affordable palettes which i have this is the first palette which is coming in my hand it's from elf this is called need it you need it nude and this is a nude palette this is really really nice very good quality this is how it looks they have a few shades in this like rose i believe uh needed matte matte for matte or something so these are really good quality uh very very smooth shadows pigmentation is uh as per what you will get in the drug drugstore um, it's not amazingly pigmented but this is pretty good pretty good pigmentation very soft shadows uh decent pigmentation and for the price what you get is really really good and then i have this one this is also in the same category la girl nudes palette this is how it looks this has some rosy tones as well and i quite like this palette this has nice pigmentation uh, i don't know if you can tell my camera is not focusing anyways i have already done a review not a review a get ready with me this is also pretty good there are two mattes most of them are shimmers so if you are a matte lover then probably there's not much for you for every it's not a very everyday kind of palette because you don't get a lot of mattes but you do get a lot of shimmers so you can actually build up the color and get a nice party look but yeah don't expect too much it's pretty decent it's not amazing uh, next i have this one this actually i have never used i got this uh, quite some time back and this is a uh, icon eyeshadow palette and this is their uh, absolute new york uh, brand so this is how it looks 
these are tin tin case it was it looks really nice it was not very expensive as well it's from the drugstore here in singapore and this is how it looks it is so pretty look at this this shimmers are really really good i have tried uh doing some looks with them i cannot swatch it here my camera is not focusing maybe i will swatch here a little bit you can see these are pretty good and the sh i really like the colors which are there they are pretty like bright colors then i have two makeup revolution palettes this one is the i heart makeup which is like a makeup revolution brand sister brand and this one is the palette uh, which is called you're the best thing and this is really good i really like it makeup revolution has some amazing quality it's not like all of the shadows are great but these palettes there are so many shadows that most of them are pretty good and you can do quite a lot of looks with this so in this palette these are all mattes on top and these are like satin shimmers there is a mix and there's a metallic uh quality is pretty nice and the, i don't have a lot of makeup revolution products uh i don't know why but i have another one which is the neutrals versus neutrals palette which i have a video on this is a very very close dupe of the modern renaissance palette i have compared the modern renaissance palettes with this one it's pretty good obviously it's this is not a uh, uh, like that great as the modern renaissance but if you are looking for something for cheaper and this is quite good so you can go ahead and check out the full review then i have these uh, smaller shadows at the back i have two disappointing shadows these are the shadows which i hardly use the blush nudes palette and the rock nudes palette i don't know i should use them often i get so turned off by them i just don't use them but i don't know i should use them often i have i will keep them i am not going to declutter any of my eyeshadow palettes because uh, i need them to compare uh, you know people have questions so i will keep them just so that i can compare with other things and if someone has an makeup tutorial request or something so i will keep it but these are not that great and two more eyeshadow palettes which i have which are really really great are these ones from the cover girl so this one is the cover girl golden palette let me open this is very very pretty it has goldeny like olive green bronzy shades really really nice i loved it this is one of my recent buys because i love this roses palette so much that's why i got the other one to see if the quality is consistent and i was happy to i, I am happy to say that it's consistent and this one is the roses one it's very very pretty it has nice uh, rose toned colors plummy rose golden shades i'll probably do a makeup look with this very very soon this is a very very good buy if you have access to cover girl then you should definitely check out these palettes these are a really really good quality and yeah those are all the palettes and these are some of the single uh, eye shadows which i have i have kiko some kiko stuff here then i have freedom eye shadows these are very very good i have some color pop not many i think four shades of color pop then i have this one from cover girl again this is a very very good quad i don't know if it is available now this is one of my favorite cover girl quads so pigmented so soft this is just amazing quality then this quad is also pretty good from revlon not as good as the cover girl one but this one is pretty good Mm, then this is uh, not that great. This is from Wet n Wild. I will probably declutter this. I don't use it. It's not that great. This Lakme one is actually really nice. I have this for quite some time. Uh, this is really really pigmented. Nice blue shades in here. Then I have this one from Bourjois. This is also really good. Uh, like a purple, a uh, plummy purple uh, eyeshadow palette. <laughs> not a palette. Eyeshadow quad. This is so so pretty. I love this one and I just put all my eyeshadow palettes back in my drawer and I realized that I have actually missed out one palette which is this one. This is the Viseart Petit uh, Pro palette and uh, there are so many YouTubers who rave about Viseart palettes, Viseart, Viseart, I don't know but they rave about Viseart palettes that it is so amazing and I was not going to spend $110 on a palette 
so I thought let me uh, try this small little one when I saw this I was really excited to try it this one also this is this is so small this is for $40 but I thought okay let's just it's better than spending $110 so let's just try this one because it actually has a lot of shades this opens like this it's so cute and very travel friendly it has a mirror so I that's why I got this because the shadows which it has are all uh, the shadows which I normally use so that goes here so I have kept all the smaller little palettes behind and all the bigger palettes here so that's it guys those were all my eyeshadow palettes uh, which I have uh, some of them I love and some of them are just okay but I don't want to get rid of anything because uh, most of them are workable and I really love eyeshadows. I just cannot declutter until and unless it's just too bad and horrible or it breaks or something. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're watching me for the first time. I'm continuing the series of uh, my makeup collection. Next, I will do the face palettes video most probably. And I have to do lipsticks and foundations and primers and uh, I can't remember. So yeah, anyways, uh, that's it for today, guys. I think this was a really long video. Uh, but what to do? I have <laughs> so much stuff to show. So thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for sticking around if you're watching till the end. Thank you very much. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.